Hi, so I spent the morning putting the flywheel into this cradle and we're going to give it a spin. <laughs> now me and Luke tried to get the RPM on that but it's going too fast. If anybody wants to work out what it is, we think it's above 300, but we're not sure, maybe 500, fingers crossed. Having no problems at all, it's not jumping around everywhere. So obviously the next thing we need to do is get this on. Okay, that's the ring in place, and it's just held in place by these blocks of wood that you can see here, and you can see the wires on the back there. Now the only thing to do really is to put some magnets in there, and to be honest, I haven't got a clue how to arrange those magnets. Now in the example that we're using, remember, is that um, little motor we took from a microwave oven, there was only a north and a south pole. And it may be that that's the only way this works. I, I don't know. But I'm going to start off with the north and south pole. And clearly, there's an awful lot of things to play around with here. I mean, I used 18 SWG wire because that's what I had. Now, there is a relationship between the number of turns and the voltage. Um, but then, equally, the thinner the wire, the less amps it can carry. I kind of was thinking about this as a sort of a motor generator. So I wanted a slightly thicker wire so I could put more amps in it. But again, it was only a guess about what kind of wire to use and the number of turns. So there's a lot to play around with. And we're going to put some magnets in there in north-south, give it a spin and see what happens, basically. OK, to be honest, I think this is awesome. Now, I've only got two magnets on it, and there's one here and there's one at the bottom there, pointing north-south. They're 20mm um, by 2mm thick neodymium magnets. I could put more magnets on it, and I will do, but I want to play around with the arrangements. Like I said, I don't know what a good arrangement is. So I've just got these two little ones on to show the proof of concept. And to be honest, I think it's awesome. I'm going to crank it up in a minute, and I've put the voltmeter right there with its capped on tape. So hopefully you'll be able to see that. Now, it did read just over half a volt the last time. So let's see what we get. Oh, when I walked around, it was 0.6 of a volt. <laughs> that, that really is some beast, isn't it? I mean, as I say, proof of concept, I think that's awesome. Let's see what we can get in the way of amps. Okay, for me, that's an unqualified success. The concrete flywheel works absolutely beautifully. This, where we've got the ring around, where we've just got one ring, seems to be working really well as well. Because I've got to put more magnets on, so as a final version, no. I mean, you know, it's, what, 50 milliamps, half a volt. That's a lot of effort for that. But for a proof of concept to show that those things will actually work, I think that's a resounding, those things will actually work. Amazing. Anyway, lots to play with. Hope you enjoyed the videos. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you very much for watching.